Hi, I'm Dennis Stevenson from Freehold Express. Thanks for taking the time to fill out our online form. We appreciate the effort that you've gone to, and we hope that it'll be well worth your time. We expect that you've already received some information about Freehold Express. That information will both answer and raise some questions for you. This presentation is designed to provide you with those answers and the next level of information to give you a much better understanding about mortgages and Freehold Express. By now you're aware that we're not lenders or mortgage brokers. We're the only company in New Zealand that specialises in mortgage debt reduction planning. Did you notice that during the height of the global financial crisis, it appeared that almost every other quarter a New Zealand lender was boasting a record profit? They're really good at what they do, and they've been doing it for a long time. And they're amongst the most profitable lenders in the OECD. About 75% of their profits are coming from your mortgage interest payments. In the information that we provided you, there was a guide entitled The Mortgage Game. Briefly, that guide is all about a game that's played every year between lenders and borrowers. Last year that game was worth more than $29 billion. But here's the deal with this particular game. The lenders, they write the rules to the game. The lenders are the referee. The lenders are the team coach and the lenders are also the team captain. And they teach everyone to play the mortgage game their way. And when you want some mortgage advice, who do you go to? Yeah, you go back to your lender. In order to maintain their profits, Lenders have conditioned borrowers over generations to think and do exactly what lenders want them to. Most borrowers now simply accept the fact that they'll be forced to pay for their home between two to three times over in interest costs. In fact, I can recall my grandparents. They actually had a mortgage party when they paid their mortgage off just before they retired. At the time, I thought that's what people with mortgages did. Work their whole life to pay their mortgage off just before they retire, if they're lucky. The tools that lenders provide add further to this conditioning. Think about it. A $29 billion industry last year, and the only tools that lenders provide are basic mortgage calculators that only tell you how much your mortgage payments need to be or how long it'll take to pay your mortgage off. We save our average client about $166,000 in interest, and we take an average of 15 years off the term of their mortgage. If our clients went to the lender and said, excuse me, can you show me how to take 15 years off my mortgage? They'd go to the only tool available to them, a basic mortgage calculator. They'd plug your data in and then they'd say, hmm, your new weekly or your new monthly or your new fortnightly mortgage repayments would be, wait for it, yes, it's going to be a fantastically large number that they know you can't afford. So they'll say, tell me, how much can you afford? Now, Right here, right now, a number of different things are happening at different levels. Firstly, they're making you think that the only way to repay your mortgage off faster is to increase your weekly, fortnightly or monthly mortgage payments. We accept that by increasing these payments, you'll pay your mortgage off a bit faster. However, by design, your lender still gets the lion's share of the interest, just not quite as much. What they don't tell you is that there's much much more efficient ways to pay your mortgage off faster. But their basic mortgage calculators have already convinced you that the only way to pay your mortgage off faster is to increase your weekly, fortnightly or monthly mortgage payments. You can't afford to increase your mortgage payments anymore, so you think you're doing all that you can to pay your mortgage off faster, so you stop looking for more efficient ways. By design, this is your lender's predetermined outcome. And now that you've committed to higher level of mortgage payments, this puts families under unnecessary financial pressure. But wait, your lender has some solutions. They're called overdraft facilities, credit cards and personal loans. And once again, by design, you are now your lender's perfect client. They've now got you right where they wanted you, choking on interest and going nowhere. You're now being forced to plough your way through massive amounts of interest. You get your monthly mortgage statement and you see that you've paid a tiny amount of principal and a massive amount of interest and you don't know what to do about it. Does that sound familiar?